Hi, I'm Kelly Duggan. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and the owner of Physical Therapy U. So you may be wondering why your doctor didn't prescribe an MRI before they recommended you come to physical therapy. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a few reasons why they, that may have happened. First off, I do just want to say when coming into physical therapy, we don't necessarily need an MRI. We're really going to talk to you about what's going on, what led up to your issue. And then we're going to look at things we call impairments. Um, that may be contributing to why the issue happened. So for instance, you know, if you're coming in with low back pain, um, we're going to talk to you about how long is it ha how long have you had it? Maybe try and figure out some contributing factors to what brought it on, if there was an actual incident or if it was just a slow progression or maybe one day you woke up with it. Then we're going to look at things like range of motion and strength and flexibility and how well the joints move, um, how the tissues feel, and that's gonna give us a, a, an idea of what your impairments are that are contributing to your pain. Um, so we're gonna look at all those things and then we're gonna treat your impairments. So we're not gonna necessarily treat you by whatever the doctor has written on the prescription like low back pain or disc herniation. We're really gonna treat you by what impairments you're presenting with. Um, so some other reasons your doctor may not have necessarily just said, oh, wow, you have shoulder pain for three months. Here's an MRI. Um, MRIs show a lot of false positives. Um, and this is more in the spine, but it also does it in other joints as well. Um, it's an expensive procedure. So if insurance companies started pay, paying for MRIs every time um, someone had pain or a question of pain, um, this would be extremely expensive for them. And again, it just kind of gives a name to something and it doesn't actually treat the problem. Um, and then with the fact that there are so many false positives, um, that can be uh, not helpful when you're actually trying to treat a problem. So what I mean by that is there's numerous studies that show if you um, do an MRI of an asymptomatic person, so someone that has no pain, no stiffness, never complain, complains of low back pain. Um, let's say they're over 60 years of age. Um, in 90% of MRIs that are looked at at people over the age of 60, it's going to show um, or studies have shown that they have some sort of disc degeneration or a bulging disc. 90%. Um, and those in, are, are people that aren't even in pain. So a lot of these things that are found in MRIs are actually just a normal pot, pot, part of the aging process. Um, so nothing to be scared about, nothing to um, feel like, oh my God, you know, I have this new diagnosis. What am I going to do now? Um, a lot of times this is just a normal process of aging, kind of like when you're looking at someone with um, gray hair, for example. Um, so that's one of the reasons why they're not necessarily just going to jump and say, oh, let's get an MRI. Um, a lot of times it, it's not pointing at um, the real cause of the pain, which is what we want to treat. Um, another reason that um, they're not just jumping to give you an MRI, sometimes your insurance company won't just pay for an MRI without trying something um, conservative like physical therapy first. So the insurance company may say, okay, you've had back pain for six months. Um, that's not enough to just have us pay for your MRI. If they were doing that again, insurance companies would be going out of business or we'd all have uh, even higher deductibles and things like that. Um, so they're not just gonna pay for it. So they do want you to typically have physical therapy or something like that beforehand because again, we're gonna treat the problem, not just necessarily give it a name. Um, that being said, of course, you know, if you ever want, if you're, if you really want that MRI, you know, if your doctor can justify, well, I'm seeing these things, which may be a concern, they're going to give you that MRI. Um, if they refuse to, you can always pay cash for an MRI in the state of Massachusetts. You know, if you're looking in Boston, the MRI costs might range anywhere from 350, which would be the absolute cheapest MRI. And that may be, you know, of the spine or of the hand or something like that. It's gonna depend on the body part and where you get your MRI done, how much it costs. Um, upwards of like $1,300, $1,400 for an MRI. Um, that's if you decided, you know what, my insurance company's not paying for it, nobody's ordering me this thing, I just wanna get one because I wanna find out the answers. Um, but of course, you're gonna call around and find out exactly what that is, but that's a good range, 350 to 1300 depending what you're having looked at. Um, so the cost of the MRI um, is one of the reasons your insurance company won't necessarily pay for it right off the bat. Um, 
if at any point your physical therapist or your doctor are seeing things we, we call red flags, then we would absolutely say, you know what, we're gonna stop what we're doing. You need to have an MRI. Let's really figure out, you know, is this what it is? Is it an orthopedic issue? Is there a neurologic issue? Is it something else um, that we should be concerned about that maybe we're not the right um, provider or person to treat your pain or your issue or your limitation or whatever it happens to be. Um, so I don't want people to get nervous too, like, oh my God, they're gonna miss something huge. Yes, that can happen. It's not that common that it happens. Usually there are other symptoms that we would see in our examination or your doctor would see in their examination that wouldn't add up and we'd say, mm, something's a little off here. Let's get an MRI to confirm that this is something that we can handle or we're gonna send you off to a different um, doctor to really figure out what your problems are. So those are the, some of the reasons that your doctor is not necessarily just ordering you an MRI. It really works out in your favor. It also works out in your insurance company's favor. Um, unfortunately, they are businesses, so they're not looking to go out of business. Um, so they're using the research to make that decision of, yes, you should get an MRI, or no, try this conservative treatment first. Um, so don't get frustrated, go in, have your physical therapy. Again, if your physical therapist is finding anything concerning, they're gonna say, you know what, I'm, I'm not treating you until you have an MRI. And usually that's enough for an insurance company to say, oh, okay, we're, we're gonna pay for this. Um, so that's all. If you have any questions, you can always email us, ptuclinic at gmail.com, call or come on by. Um, we'd love to help you out. That's all.